What's good, guys? And welcome to another episode of Herb's Comic Book Journey. First off, before we get into anything, I want to send my prayers out to every single one of the people who are struggling through this unfortunate time that uh, all the BS that's going on in, in our country right now. I, I really hope everybody is doing okay, uh, considering all the situations that we're going through. My thoughts and prayers are going out to each and every one of you, and I pray that everybody is going to be okay. But make sure that you get out and vote. It is a major important deal that we go out and get this stuff done. But let's uh, get into the nitty gritty. What we're here for. We are here for Herb's comic book journey. And this week we will be heading back to the DC universe talking about Hal Jordan and the Green Lantern. Uh, this one is definitely uh, one of the best ones uh, stories talking about the uh, the Green Lantern. It's the Emerald Twilight series. Uh, this took place in, I believe, 1994. It came out. Very good series uh, about Green Lantern. Uh, basically telling about the struggles that he had to deal with uh, dealing with a big loss. Um, and I kind of thought about with all the stuff that's been going on this week, uh, dealing with loss and dealing with anger and frustration. Uh, we need to try to become better people before a uh, certain evil comes out of us. So I uh, thought it was very a cerebral choosing of this uh, comic series. Uh, it was actually really good. Uh, I have to give credit to what credits do. That was on Trey Proper this week. So I asked him to help me out with finding something. So shout out to Trey Proper. And um, But before we get into this, I want to talk to you guys about Phoenix Fit. So Phoenix Fit, uh, let's go ahead and tell you, uh, I got to tell you guys something because this past week uh, I was supposed to fill you in on my update. I told you that I didn't lose any weight. Um, I actually lost an inch off my waist. Uh, turns out that uh, I forgot to go to the restroom before weighing myself. Uh, I know, TMI. Anywho, uh, I actually lost two extra pounds this this past week. Uh, so I am at 412. That is 18 pounds down from exactly, I'm sorry, yeah, exactly one month ago today. Uh, so yeah, shout out to Phoenix fit, uh, pre-workout mix works really well for me. Uh, I have the whey uh, protein shake that I have, uh, it's a chocolate mint flavor. Really good. I think that you guys should check it out. Uh, for more information, just check down in the description, go ahead and go on Phoenix fit. That's F N X fit.com to go ahead and, and go and use the promo code for 15% off on all purchases, the promo code is FNXBLURDS13. Once again, that number, that promo code is FNXBLURDS13. And let's get to this actual comic strip. So this story starts off with how taking a big L. And um, it is whole entire city of Coast City, where he was uh, pretty much born and raised and be help, helped him become the man that he is, has been destroyed. Um, it's a lot of frustration build up. He's sad that he lost his whole entire uh, town where he grew up. Um, and he's, he. but the one thing that can actually help him out with this whole entire situation is he has the most powerful weapon in the whole entire galaxy, which is the Green Lantern ring. And uh, with just using willpower, he can make it whatever he wants. He can go ahead and use it to uh, turn anything his mind can think of. So he decides to go and um, push the rings to his limits. And he sees a, and a whole entire cloud just falls over top of him. And it's a, a 
construct version of his father. So it's like a fake version of him. Uh, because everything that's going on in his thoughts about uh, what, what his father is or any anything that he is putting his head together with, um, he, he could pretty much just whatever he is on his mind, he uses. So his uh, father, he has an image of his father. He's like, Dad, I need you to just tell me that you're proud of me because as, as I grew up, you never told me that you were proud of me. And he looks at him like, dude, you, you're a fucking adult. Grow up is the shit was in the past. He's like, well, you gave my brothers uh, a whole bunch of attention. He's like, dude, grow up. You're you're, you're okay. Um, I'm getting ready to leave, and I'm getting on this uh, plane, and I'll catch you later. And to those who don't know, his dad died in a car in a plane crash, and this is the same exact plane crash that he saw that he witnessed his father dying from. So he goes and sees the whole entire thing over again after he's begged his father not to go. Um, and he watches his dad dies. Now, a construct, a construct uh, version of his mother shows up and tells him, like, hey, you need to remember all the good things that you remember about your dad. Uh, all the good times that you had with me. All the good times that you had with your family. Just keep up the good times. And then she fades away. He says to her, he says just out loud, just screaming, like, I, I don't want to just remember the good time. I want everything that I had back. And he just pretty much just builds the whole entire city uh, using his uh, using his ring. And it's a damn good replica of, her, of it because it's, he made a, a, a pretty much an alternate ending to <laughs> to what his whole entire city was. It's a, a construct version of it. He sees his old girlfriend. His old girlfriend gives him a kiss, uh, whispers some stuff to him, tells her that she loves him or whatever. Uh, and then he finally sees his dad. His dad's like, yeah, so, son, what you did was just amazing. I just want to say I'm, I'm, and then he just fades away. And then Hal just goes crazy. He's like, oh, my God, what just happened? No, 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 no. And all of a sudden, everything just vanished. So one of the guardians uh, decides to come up to him, and they have... A projection that pretty much tells him to get get your ass back to Oa because you've just been using this uh, power just for yourself. We want you to use it for the good, for a good, but you're just being selfish with the power. So he's like, "Nah, fuck this. Uh, I'm. I ran out of uh, power. I need to charge my ring up, and or I'm gonna go to Oa. But you're gonna get these hands. Everything is gonna be bad. So on the way up to Oa, he finds every single Green Lantern that's available. And just pretty much beats the fuck out of them senseless. And and every single one of them is wondering, like, damn, why, why would you do this, Al? This, is, this isn't you. You're a good guy. He's like, nah, fuck that. I, I, I ain't got no time for any of that shit. So he goes ahead and literally beats every single Green Lantern's ass up until he gets to Oa. But here's the thing. Instead of him just beating their ass and just rolling out, he takes every single one of those rings off of every single person. And it doesn't matter if he if they just left him weak or he left him there to die. He took the rings off and he pretty much was looking like fucking uh, Phil Jackson with 11 rings. Shit <laughs> just, just everywhere. And I mean, so he at this point, he is literally the most powerful man in the universe. So uh, as he gets up to uh, Oa, um, he pretty much says to the whole entire uh, people, like, yo, y'all about to get these fucking uh, hands. Y'all want y'all getting all these problems that because I want to be the most powerful uh, person ever. So uh, Kilowog, which is one of the other uh, Green Lanterns, is like, why would you do this? Um, and he just starts protecting the, uh, the Guardians. And he's beating the shit out of, uh, he's starting to beat up uh, Hal. Hal's like, nah, you know what, man, fuck all this. And he just beats his ass. Beats his ass to, the, to a pulp. And he's just laying there defeated. So, uh, the Guardians just sit there and say, like, look, you now's the time to just turn over and say, like, hey, give up. He's like, yo, I just beat everybody's fucking ass. You really think I'm going to go ahead and just give up now? Fuck y'all. And there's like, nah, we got a secret weapon. And it turns out to be uh, this uh, the, the central power battery. 
And one of the things that comes out of it is Sinestro, which is pretty much the evil of her, the, the bad guy. Sinestro comes out, starts talking shit. You ain't gonna uh, win, uh, basically, because you're 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 just too good. I mean, you're a good person. It's like, man, fuck this. If you get in my way, I'm gonna fucking kill you. And he's like, oh, you ain't about that life. Let's go and see. So he beat he beats the holy shit out of him. And he's like, and at this point, he even tells him because he has all the rings. He tells him like, you know what? Just to make an even a uh, fight, I'm gonna take off all these rings, and I'm still gonna whip your ass. So Sinestro is just getting his ass whipped the whole entire time. Just like, wow, this motherfucker really has the will to beat my fucking ass right now. <laughs> it's just so finally, uh, it gets to a point to where. He goes ahead and puts Sinestro in like a headlock and snaps his fucking neck. And it, it ends it all. And it's just like, oh shit. So, um, yeah. How fucking killed uh, Sinestro. <laughs> and then um, all of a sudden, you see Kilowog. Kilowog uh, comes back and says like, yo. How? You gotta stop this. This ain't true. And he's just but he's still trying to defeat Hal. Just beating up our how and then finally Hal's just like, you know what, fuck this. And as Kilowog is sitting there trying to swing, Hal catches his hand in, in, in the midst of it and just fucking zaps his ass to where it's just his fucking bones just standing there. So um Kilowog was basically trying to tell him like, hey how this isn't you, but unfortunately he got zapped. He was like trying to tell him like, this isn't the type of person that you are. You're better than this. And uh, he was like, fuck it all. And he zapped everything. He zapped uh, Kilowog to his bones, killed him. And this t and how just took off his ring. It's just kind of like pissed off right now. And He's like, I, I just don't deserve this no more. Um, I need to get rid of this power because it's kind of consumed me. And finally, he was like, look, uh, I, I just have to end this all. Now, the uh, Guardians are pulling up behind him right as he's saying that. And they're like, yeah, you need to get the fuck out of here and you need to stop this. But then he looks at them and says... You know what? It's too late for me. It's too late for you. There's no going back. There's no turning back now. What's going to happen is just going to happen. And it has to. And then you can't do shit about it. And um, so he goes into the... Uh, he just fucks around and says, you know what? I'm going to go into a charge battery. And pretty much end it all. And in the midst of this, all the guardians are looking at Ganthat and saying, like, yo, you're the only one left. You need to go ahead and save us. So we're going to go do our best to uh, to put a shield around you and make sure that you live. And you put they all put the shield around him and he comes out. How comes out just uh, of the whole entire thing. The whole entire place just explodes. And there's no more guard uh, Green Lanterns. There's no more Guardians because all the Guardians are just laying there dead. And the only person that's coming out is no longer Hal Jordan, the Green Lantern. It's Parallax. And this motherfucker is beyond serious. He is the fucking... He's your worst fucking nightmare. Long story short. So with... The last of, uh, since there's no more Green Lanterns, uh, Parallax just goes and, do, and just leaves. And Ganthat, uh, with the last of his power, he picks up that ring, uh, this ring that powers up his, itself. And he, he, with the last of his power, he goes down to Earth. And um, he just goes and makes his way to Earth to go see... Uh, this one last person that could be the pretty much the the torch holder of the Green Lantern, the very very last Green Lantern, and um, 
he gives it to Kyle Rayner. And that's where the story ends. This was a pretty good story. Dealing with all the frustration that, we, that we've that we been going through throughout the week. I felt like it was the best story because it, it deals with pain. It's dealing with a frustration. And uh, what are you going to do in this situation when you're pissed off and you're angry? And uh, how was going through a lot of shit. And he basically turned himself into a bad guy. And um, very fitting because we... we as um, as a people don't want to become what we despise. Um, there's something to think about, guys. Um, but as I leave, because, uh, you know, we ain't just working with one sponsor. We got two sponsors. The uh, second one is the beard struggle. Uh, me personally... I love the I love the uh, the products that they have. Um, they have uh, shampoo, conditioner, uh, because I like to um, hot comb my beard. Yeah, I said hot comb my beard. They actually have like a hot uh, comb protection, protect a uh, hot brush. I have a hot brush, so a hot they it's like a protection for it, so it doesn't like really damage your uh, your hair. Uh, you can go ahead and use that on. It feels good. As always, they have the oils. They have the uh, the uh, the beard uh, cream that you can put on and make it feel good and nice and soft. Uh, my wife loves the scents. She loves how uh, how it feels on uh, how it feels on my beard and everything. She thinks I look sexy all the time. Well, I mean, she's gonna think I look sexy all the time anyway. But anywho, that's not a hero there. The product is amazing. We feel my beard feels good. I feel good. I, I feel amazing with it on. It feels great on me. Um, and when I actually go ahead and get this whole entire thing shaped up, due to uh, COVID going on, uh, yeah, I'm gonna make it look even better. So my beard feels good. I feel good. You'll feel good. Go to beardstruggle.com. And uh, just go ahead and get yourself uh, some your own products. Uh, they have some for uh, for those scruffy beards uh, that you're just trying to learn, uh, trying to grow it in. And they have some for uh, long beards, longer than mine. They have, I have it for that. They have uh, conditioner and, and shampoo, like I just said. Uh, and go out there and make sure that you go and get yours. But be sure when you go in there, you go and put your promo code in. Blurds one. Once again, that promo code is BLURDS1 on thebeardstruggle.com to get your 15% off today. Not tomorrow, not next week. Go and get yours today. Because you're going you're gonna, to you're gonna appreciate how you feel after you get it. And plus, I mean, we it's, it's to make you feel good and, and tell your, uh, your, your beard, beard, uh, beard Viking fellows the... Go ahead and, and and encourage them by telling them to grow a beard. You'll feel good. You'll you'll feel amazing. I don't know why it's taking you so long not to go ahead and get that stuff, man. Go ahead on beerstruggle.com. The beerstruggle.com. Blurds one to get your fifteen percent off on all your products. You'll enjoy it. You'll feel good. You'll thank us later. Anywho, this once again is Herb's comic book journey. Um. I hope you guys enjoyed it uh, as I enjoyed this uh, book, uh, this series, uh, and I shall check you guys later. Peace.